Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to NBA 2K19 today. Got a brand new gameplay on maybe a gameplay that's unexpected. I don't usually do a ton of gameplays on Amethyst, but if the name fits the bill, you bet you we're going to do a gameplay on it. Now, this guy is known as one of the deadliest dribblers in the NBA. In fact, it's in the name J Crossover Freaking Boom! 92 overall Jamal Crawford. Now, looking at this card. I don't know if we've ever gotten an Amethyst version of him before. I know we've gotten Rubies before. Amethyst, I'm not sure. 94 offensive, 84 defensive. He's got 10 gold badges. Mid-range Deadeye, one-man fast break, lob city passer, difficult shots. Pick and roll maestro, direless scorer, flashy passer, acrobat, relentless finisher, and, of course, ankle breaker. I would like to see an ankle breaker on Hall of Fame, but, you know, whatever. So he's got 94 standing and driving layup. He's got 88 draw foul, 93 mid-range, 89 three ball, 90 free throw, 94 ball control. See, again, I'd probably be a 99, but that's okay. 87 passing accuracy, 89 passing IQ. He's got not the greatest steal at a 64. Speed is all in the 94s. Very, very good. 81 lateral quickness. Now defensive consistency of a 50. Yamahama, that is some scary stuff right there. On ball defense of a 66. Ah! This card is getting scarier by the minute. Pick and roll defense 73. 69 health defense. Oh my god. This guy is no defender. This guy has the equivalence of your grandma defending an NBA player. But when he lacks in defense, he might make up an offense. But there's only one way to find out. Let's get some gameplay. All right, it looks like we found an opponent. He's got, wow, he's got an all amethyst team. And surprisingly enough, he has the new Jamal Crawford too. I don't know why ours is rated a 94. Very interesting there, but Jamal against Jamal. Seems like a fair matchup to me. All right, here we go. We got amethyst Jamal Crawford. He's got amethyst Jamal Crawford. We'll see who does better. Even me, is he doubling? Where are we looking? Oh, out to Jamal. You left him. You can't leave and Jamal Crawford. 50. What's his name again? Danny Granger, our point guard, bringing the ball down. Oh, easy buckets, Danny Granger. Oh, that was easy. I have to call him right now. Oh, he's leaving him wide open. Jamal Crawford. Why can't I? Jamal Crawford. Jamal Crawford, that's his name. And looking out to Jay Cross. Jay Cross coming in, throwing it into Kirilinko back out. Oh, my God. Hold on to it, idiots. This Jay Crossover is making some buckets, too. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Green bean means go. And grooving back out to Danny. Danny getting in there. He's I don't know what is it is. This is DeAndre George just jumping around like an idiot. Good rebound there. We're going to throw it up. Oh, J-Cross. J-Cross with that quick release. I like it. Bang. Doing here. See what we can do. Coming around this way into Blake. Oh, my God. We're getting nailed. Up. I see J-Cross coming down. Ooh, it's blackity mackity. Oh, green bean. Doesn't matter who's in his way. A right, good rebound there. We're throwing up to Ginobili. Down there. We're throwing up to Richard Lewis. And we're going back over to... Okay, he missed that one. Oh my god, I probably could have just took that. Why didn't we go around? Freaking Manu Ginobili! That was a dumb shot. Right? Backward, okay. Back out to Mellow. Mellow, try it again. There you go. There you go. Throw right up to Mellow. Mellow coming down. Stop it. Pop it again. Whack. Three, two, one. Oh, he got it. He got it. Jamal Crawford. I don't know his name yet. I still can't say it. Oh my, what? what? I started the second quarter, Jamal Crawford, J Crossover. I'm finally starting to learn his name, second way into the quarter, so that's a start. He's actually doing really, really well. Let's see if I can do his name any better. Oh, by J Crossover coming all the way in. Let's try our layups on for speed. And he, and one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Free throw is super easy, my God. Truck and look at the left. That was actually really sick. I can't, even though he didn't make it, it was still super sick. Oh, that might have been too bad. <laughs> Never mind, not deep enough. Let's go, let's go. Danny Granger, look at Danny G getting wide open spaces. God, red carpet treatment. We're going up to Jay Cross. Jay Cross going all the way in, into Grant Hill, back over to Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin, <laughs> he knows how to finish. He's a little sizzle here. Uh oh, Jay Cross, don't give him a run. Oh my god. Green bean, bro. This guy's on fire. Blinko Andre into freaking Jamal Crawford. Misses there. Get another rebound there. Coming out. Looking out. Oh, Dickie. He's giving me way too much space. Okay. Never mind. All right, two minutes left, man. I really need to call in the subs, like, quick. Oh, don't give me the space, man. Dude, it's, <laughs> he's got one of the easiest releases. Four left, and we're probably having one of the best game plays that we've had all year with this particular player, Jamal Crawford. I he hasn't missed. Down 
there. We're throwing up to J-Cross. J-Cross coming all the way down. Up in. Oh, my God, bro. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. All right, good rebound there. We're throwing right back up to J-Cross. J-Cross coming down. My throw. Nothing. All right. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got about a minute left before the end of the half. Good pass there. I like that. I forget he's got that really good passing into Timmy D. Timmy D. Finishing over. I just can't talk today. I'm sorry. <laughs> Carol, yeah, give me another one. Oh man, that was a dumb shot. I can't believe it. All right, give me the space. Oh, I don't even think he's good. All right, Carmelo Anthony throwing it out to J Cross. J Cross, another one. Bruh, he has been freaking just on another level. All right, guys, update at halftime. Yo, I can't believe I'm saying this. 34 points, one assist, two steals, 13, 18, 6 and 9, 2 and 2. He is absolutely demolished, obliterated, destroyed the first half. I don't know if he's even going to get an opportunity to play in the second half, but we'll try the best we can. I started the third quarter, man. I can't put up. We're up 31. I mean, this guy hasn't really put up much of a fight. Jamal Crawford has absolutely killed this man's spirit. We'll try and keep him around as long as we can. Go, so, Jamal. Jamal. Oh, my God. What the hell just happened? Okay, that didn't mean even mean to happen here. Oh, back over to Rashard Lewis. Rashard Lewis. Let's go. We're coming down with Eddie Jones. Mr. Jones. I don't know why I still have Jay Crossover in, but hey, if he's still got strength, we'll keep pushing. This guy has obviously left the game. We're just going to kick out. I'll give you my final thoughts in the main menu. I right, guess that is going to be the gameplay. Shout out to my opponent. Yo, Jamal Crawford killed that man's spirit. He was done. He had had enough. He had given up and uh, yeah, this card, I mean, he had the record breaker. I mean, I was excited. I thought we were going to go all the way. I was excited to see what he could actually score. He had like 32 points at half. I'm pretty sure that's the highest I've gotten in a long, long time with a card. Very, very good card. However, it's just not a very good card. Let's backtrack. I mean, it's a good card as in he had a good performance that particular game, but this card is not very good. It may have a purple border, but it's got the stats of pretty much like a lower tiered ruby card. If that, I mean, his defense makes this card right away. I'll give you the rating. It's a seven, a seven out of 10. And I don't even know why I'm giving him that. He probably should be somewhere in the sixes because he really has got not a lot going for him. He doesn't have good defense. His shoe provider is some company I've never even heard of. What is brand black? Never heard of that. Pretty sure that might be his own company of shoe. So you can't put any shoes on him to make him better in the three ball or anything like that or speed or defense or anything like that. And his defense is just atrocious. So he is a liability when he's out there, guys. 7 out of 10. And that might even be kind at that. I got mine for 55k. I'd pick him up literally for no higher than 20k. If he's over 20k, do not get the card. He's just a fun card to use. He might be fun to pick up to try and like triple threat and mess around in there. But other than triple threat, this card serves no purpose and deserves to be on no one squad. I have to be harsh because it's just not a good card. I mean, what am I going to say? I can't give... This is no BS channel, okay? If a card sucks, I'm going to let you know. And this card sucks. I mean, it might have a fire release and you might be able to get away with some points. But he is just not worth a squad. I'm sorry. Have fun in triple event with them. And that's it. That's all she wrote. We don't need more gameplay on him because there's really nothing. Like I said, there's nothing going for him. He doesn't have amazing shooting at an 89 three ball. He's got decent passing. He's got 94 ball control. But this card's pretty much made for triple threat. Triple threat made right here. Other than that, nah. So yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay. It's a little bit of a shorter video today because I don't know. And I don't know. I mean, Patrick Ewing, he's... He's good. I don't know. Some of you guys like him. Some of you don't. You can get this video to 300 likes. We'll do Patty Ewing. I don't know what other content they're going to drop this week. Hopefully something else because it's been a dry week. Dry, dry week in 2K. But hey, we'll make something happen. Other than that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave the video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. And Richie Nation, already on.